YouTube, it's your boy Jay Brown, and tonight we are going digital. It means we're just uh, expressing what's on our minds. Now tonight, I want to talk about my thoughts on Roman Reigns. Now, before I talk about Roman Reigns, I want to mention another superstar. John Cena. Now, for years, John Cena has been on top, and for most of those years, John Cena has gotten a lot of flack about he can't wrestle, he's boring, he's being shoved down our throats, he's burying young talent, he sucks. Personally, I never felt that way about John Cena. I've always been a John Cena fan, even when he was a heel for five minutes. I mean, I just like John's energy. A lot of people didn't feel that way. But that's how I felt. Now, and then when John tried to make some changes, like he started to wrestle better, he started to put people over, and it even took time away, he would still get flack. No matter what he did. So, that led me to believe that People were just hating on him because it was a cool thing to do, which I still think is kind of true. Now, fast forward and we come to the Roman Reigns era. People pretty much feel the same way about Roman Reigns, but the difference between how I feel about Cena and Roman Reigns is what everybody was saying over the years about Cena, when it comes to Roman Reigns, I get it. I see the overuse and everything, and I kind of feel the same way. I am in no means a Roman Reigns hater. I like Roman Reigns, but I do think he is shoved down our throats a little bit. And it's, it's not his fault. It's the way that he's booked. A, a lot of things that we judge as wrestling fans come to how persons book the writing team, what have you. The only difference to me between how John Cena is viewed and how Roman Reigns is viewed, nobody says Roman Reigns can't wrestle. They pretty much said he has no promo skills. He has gotten better. But yes, his promo skills were horrendous and people don't realize that is a big deal. It's called a promo, Shut kid, your and mouth, if you want John. to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it, so go ahead. When it comes to Roman, yes, I did get sick of seeing Roman all the time, but I would never boo him and say, oh, he sucks. I mean, I can do without seeing him for a match or two. But it brings me to the point that now Roman is what everybody wanted him to be for years. He is a heel. Even with him as a heel, I still see people complaining. Like, oh, you turn your uh, only baby face into a heel. Like, oh, he's going to suck. Like, why they put um, Paul Heyman with Roman Reigns? Like, when it comes to the situation with John Cena and Roman Reigns, it's almost like damned if you do, damned if you don't. Personally, I'm excited to see what heel Roman Reigns is like. The first thing that sparked my excitement was when I saw this tweet. I don't care who you are, what you say, that was badass. And that's the type of fire I've been wanting to see from Roman for the very longest. Maybe his promo skills aren't the best. But let's see what he can bring to the table. And we all know how great Paul Heyman can raise a superstar. Yeah, of course, when you look at when he was teamed up with Cesaro and Curtis Axel. Okay, I'm throwing all that out. I'm, I'm not counting that. But I really think Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns, I think this duo could really do something. And unlike with Brock Lesnar, with Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman may be there more often than before. 
So my thoughts on Roman Reigns is this. I'm excited for what's going to happen. I think people are complaining for no real reason just to complain. And again, that's the nature of Phantom. I go digital every now and then, but if you want to check out my Freight Fives, which are coming back soon, and the soon to be Freight Form, click like if you like the video. And I know this video might be controversial because I'm talking about Roman Reigns, so I know a lot of people are going to hit the dislike video. I still thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, see y'all later.